Hi, so welcome to today's session on uh, Cascade style sheet. This is going to be really interesting. What is CSS? So like uh, before going ahead, like uh, these are some of the videos like I've created in this channel, WikiTiki. So if you, if you miss any videos, you can watch it uh, if you love this video. <laughs> Let's move on to the like, uh, video. Like uh, today, I'm going to talk about the web designing. So uh, everyone is looking for a creative website. If you want, if you want a creative website, uh, obviously we need the design, the structure of the website. Like uh, where is the button? Where is the text box and everything? The structure is defined and created with the HTML hypertext markup language. So I'm building a, like a, a specific video on HTML. Do not worry. And for designing it, of to beautify the things, we need a specific technology called Cascade Style Sheet. So before going with the creating the website, we should understand the step-by-step -step procedure, like how these people are creating the website. So obviously, I want to create a website. In the case, a client is coming to me and ask me, "Hey, I want a website." In the case, these are the procedures I used to follow. The one is like getting the requirements. So we need to analyze like what is the business and why he need the website and what are the things should be there in the website. We need to do a lot of analysis based on that. I will plan it like, "Hey, you need a sign up page, man. You need a login page and you need an inbox page or something like that." I'll plan it. I'll design the content. And afterwards, we will develop it to make it as a product. After building the product, we should think in a different perspective whether it's responsive or not. What is responsive? Responsive is nothing but like the website working in computer and also in mobiles. So it's cross like a device compatibility. Apart from that, we should think about cross browser compatibility. Hey, this website should work in Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or Firefox. Anywhere it should not, it should work. And if the website is good, we'll be going for final testing and obviously it will be launched. This is the step by step procedures while developing your website. Anyway, like a HTML. So HTML is to give the content and the structure for the website and CSS will give lots sorts of appearance. That's why it's called style sheet. So obviously you'll be getting, you'll be getting a website. So HTML, as I told you, will have a head and your body. This will give the structure of the website and for designing the appearance and look, you need Cascade style sheet, which will provide the presentation for the website. So that's why your CSS is very important for the website. So here is the like a simple like a thing I want to show you. This is my HTML website. You got the head tag and you got the body tag. The head tag will have the title and the style. The style is defined. And here is your body where you'll have the structure. That is a paragraph tag. Welcome to WikiTiki. For this paragraph, apply the style. The style is the text center should be center. Text align should be center. In the website, it should be in the center and the color will be in red color. Okay, this is how. So design the structure, apply the style on it, apply the colors on it. That is how your CSS will work. So here is the properties of CSS. You are able to see the properties of CSS here. So over here, you are able to see this is called H1. That is called selector or H1 tag, a heading tag, which will have the color and it's orange and text align is center. So you will have the property and the value. So your CSS will have your multiple things we should understand. So obviously your CSS will have the element. So which element I want to apply the style. So you should know like what is the style I'm going to apply. Obviously you are able to see it here. You got your anchor tag, anchor tag, a hyperlink tag, anchor tag. It's denoted with A. That is your selector. Say, I want to apply a style to which ID, to which element. That is the one you should, you should specify here. And afterwards, you should have your open brace. The fault as a declaration start. What is a property? For that, what is the value you're going to give? Property and your value. Separated by a property or value separator. And the, like, the value will be ends with a declaration separator. Declaration start and declaration separate over here and declaration end will be the this is how the individual pro individual items are available in CSS you may ask me a question sir like I gave you a direct yellow color sir if you go to an Asian paints that's a catalog under I can see lots lots of colors so we don't have the name for all the colors right and that should be an universal name 
universal denotion like a uh, indication for the colors for that uh, we need a, something a specific uh, uh, specification that's why they come up with the numbers so obviously it is from 0 to 9 and a to f a combination you can have six digits you are able to see six digits three 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 six digits obviously like based on the digits the colors will be denoted if it is zero 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 six zeros it's nothing but black f f f f six f it's white and in between the combination you will get a colors sir is it possible is, is it one like a, we can specify only six yes no problem we can go with the three colors also like three numbers also you are able to denote it with the three numbers because the colors you are trying to narrow it to a specific set of a less number of colors so i don't want this number so i'm confused sir in that case i can go with the specific name itself directly okay so the property value can be defined in different like types so for example the font size sir so i can specify it in pixel formats pixel sizes or it can be in a percentage also 150 percentage increase it to 150 percentage the default size of s2 is there and increase it to 150 percentage of the size or the font size and i got the margin here margin you got left five pixel remove like you will have a margin of five pixels here top don't give any little spaces man in the right i need some 10 spaces 10 pixels of spaces man in the bottom i need 15 pixels of spaces man yeah left right top bottom and everything is consolidated here over here you are able to say this is called h2 as an element and the entire thing is called as a rule and this is called as a declaration with the properties and the separator with the value and the declaration ends the value ends the value separator there ends so this is how you are able to define scss now now it's a time for me to explain about the inline css okay so we got lots and lots of types of css i'm going to talk about the three major types of css the first thing is called inline css defining the style in the same line it's called as inline css no sir i want to define the style in the same file yes i can do it no sir i want to define the style somewhere can i call it yes so these are the three varieties of styles we can make it out in html you are able to see h1 tag is here with the style the color is red so welcome to kashew infotech so obviously this font will be of color red and over here you got the html the h1 tag is there and above the html h1 tag we got the style tag you got the element selector h1 with the colors and everything specified here so for this tag h1 the style is getting applied the entire things is available in the same html over here you got the style in a separate file and the design in the separate file here is the h1 tag for that i defined a style in a separate css file so setting the style in the same line setting the style in the same file setting the style in the external file okay this is how the three varieties of css defined so before going into my session like uh, this is my insta account if you are interested to contact me for any queries anything treat me as a brother you can ask me anything i am ready to help you okay and here is my contact numbers you can contact me at any time for any queries and like, uh, for anything like for technical stuffs okay now uh, let's talk about the inline css what is inline css as i told you inline css is nothing but uh, specifying the style on the line itself that is called inline css so let's talk about this uh, inline css here is a sample piece of code i got you are able to see you got a html tag so you got your html tag and the head tag and also the body tag so inside the body tag so over here in the head tag i got the title i show infotech css course in the body tag you got the header tag and a paragraph tag for this paragraph i given this style so this is the like a text for that i need a red color style should be applied and the font size should be 46 pixel style is equal to the color a semicolon and the so, so, like a property value property value so which is specified here 
okay so the style is applied in the line of the tag that is called as inline css now we will see like how this one works you are able to see it here so the h1 welcome to kashi info tag it's a default black color which is a heading header font and the paragraph tag is a smaller one i want to make the size bigger so that's why like i use a font size is equal to 46 pixel to show the difference of the size paragraph tag is very small but i made it bigger than the header tag okay so on the color you are able to see it's in red color okay so this is how you are able to apply the style in the line itself that is called as inline css before going to my session like uh, i want to share you a good information that our company kashub infotech we are providing online classes okay online courses also so, yeah, live courses with 100 percent practical on ethical hacking python machine learning data science java android web designing like with the php html css javascript everything cloud computing, DevOps, big data, and also mechanical, 3D modeling, and ANSYS and CATIA. And apart from that, we got robotics and electronics also. And the technology, like, uh, the languages are in English and also in Tamil versions I'm teaching you. And the type of training is completely 3D based, completely like 100% practical. Everything is practical. We are trying to teach you. And uh, the, it's the number of days to cover this session is almost 10 days to 20 days program if you want 10 days program you can take or 20 days program and here is the registration link so if you're interested like you may ask me a question sir do we have any other topics yes we got almost 183 topics available okay so apart from these topics we got 183 other topics to teach you or any custom technology just talk to me i'm ready to help you okay so it's a completely 3d based training and if you're interested you can join with us and we got a special four bundle package for this month so we got certified ethical hacking with almost 20 days of training with the python machine learning and data science is a four bundle package with a 90 percent offer cost and here is the contact numbers and registration links and everything is given and we got 20 days of training with the 3d base certificates will be given two projects and everything is flexible okay so we got the live classes from me i'm ready to teach you people so if you're looking for web designing php course or internships or projects yes you can contact us via the website or to the numbers given okay, here is my numbers and uh, if you're looking for any technological guidance i need some career guidance sir i need some job support sir so i want to enhance my career sir please contact me treat me as a brother i am ready to help you and uh, we got this like we got software development also website creation support also if you're looking for any website with a cheaper cost here are the contact points okay let's move on to the next level of uh, css that's your internal css so internal css in the sense uh, you got the style in the file itself that is called as internal css okay let's move on to the internal css so here is a piece of code you are able to see it here you got the html with the head and the body tag the body tag will have the style over here you are able to see h1 is there h1 is the tag with the style in the same file a style in the same file i got the style slash style you got the h1 tag with the color as blue obviously this heading tag a style will be applied okay and since i'm specifying an element an element in the style that is called as elemental style tag so if you're looking for much more details in-depth details of css so you can check out my web designing courses and i gave the numbers to you okay so i'm going to like uh, check it out like how it works for me okay so here is the output i got i got my css like html file Oh, that's great, man. My H1 tag got the like H1 tag got the blue color. Okay, so you are able to see the color. By default, it's black color. In the previous inline CSS, I shown you the default is black color. I changed into blue color. I was shown you the paragraph tag of bigger size, but the default size is the one. Okay, that's why I want to show the difference between the styles and everything, whether it's applying or not okay now we have seen like a how so like i got the tag i got the style the style will be applied on that particular tag okay and this can be defined with the style slash style if it's h1 directly you can put h1 but if you want to specify in different manner yes you can do it we'll see it in the next level of external css okay if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe and support us 
and click that bell symbol and uh, click the all button also to get regular notifications okay now let's move on to the final part of uh, the css area that's your external css what is external css as i told you so the, the structure will be somewhere and the style will be in the somewhere so two different files linking it i'm trying to linking it so okay you are able to see it here so i got the head tag and the body tag i can have h1 directly calling or I can have an ID. This is called ID selector tag. ID is equal to header tag, and you are able to see to call it. You need this ash symbol. You need the ash symbol. So color blue. The H1 tag will have the color as blue, and the paragraph tag. The ID name is para. You can have any name. You can have any name. Venkat. You can have any name. So to call this one, you need this ash para. And the background color is green obviously this will have the background color as green okay sir i want to link this file to this file sir how it's possible you'll have the link tag here the link tag you have to give the name hyper reference the style wiki style.css and the type of the file is text slash css and the relation is style sheet hey what is a file what is a type and what is a relation everything if you give it automatically this HTML file is linked with this CSS file okay this is how this is called as external CSS okay now you got an idea like how, like how to work with this external CSS I'll show you like uh, my piece of code you are able to see the CSS here I'm trying to right click it you are able to see CSS here okay it's in one file and my external CSS is in another file so that particular file is linked with this file and the styles are applied you are able to see h1 tag should be the color should be in blue color blue color and background color should be green for the paragraph tag you are able to see the paragraph tag is almost green color in the background you are able to see it. so this is how the styles are applied from external files so this is called as external css so like hope you enjoy this video like uh, you got a lot of tutorials in my wikitiki.com i have written this tutorial just go and check it out you'll get the entire css tutorials over there and apart from that here are the courses with the 90 percent offers we are providing you can contact us anytime thanks for watching this video and uh, if you love this video please click it and if you want to come give a comment and if you're looking for any other technology please give it so it, it will be very useful for me to find the topics and this is Venkat signing off from Wikitechie and Kashi Infotech.